Oh, she's here. Hi. She's here. She's here. We're here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is a Lisa's production. This is a she's production. doing a production dinner tonight. <laughs> crazy, crazy, but good. Um, yeah. How are you doing? Uh, I think I'm okay. I made 20 masks today for the <clears throat> hospital. So that's good. Nice. I felt I felt useful in the world where um, it's hard to feel useful and um, like you can do something, you know, to make a difference in this crazy, crazy place we're in. Uh-oh. Are you I, there? I've never there. Heard, uh I'm here I'm just reaching okay. over. Uh, I've never been so grateful to um, just to have a safe place to talk and hang out and sort of decompress because it's just so much and it's um, hard to watch so many people in pain and the collective consciousness is so in pain. And, um, I actually saw a restaurant that we go to in LA um was actually looted today and wrecked and it was sad it um it was sad to see that and and yet i can't you know i think we can hold both places at the same time i i i know i understand the um not the necessarily the looting aspect but the aspect of people feeling powerless and being so disenfranchised for so long and everything is rising to the surface and you can still hold that idea and the idea that that people are are protesting the murder of george floyd and and the myriad of, of black lives that have gone before him that are not even in the recent past that are just like like the like the other day going back you know it's, so i think we can hold both of those ideas at the same time and understand that we're being infiltrated by um forces that are not good it's just it's just pure rage and i think mm -hmm. uh if you're a feeling person you feel it and you've just got to be there for your friends and people of color you gotta you gotta dig deep and you gotta you know really try to be try to be there and be strong and prepare and listen we have pain. to listen to their pain their pain have, is you yes. know we have to you have to be allies and supporters and you have to educate yourself of why this is the way it is why it hasn't changed um i mean i understand with that martin luther king phrase rioting is the language of the unheard and that's what we're seeing in real time i i mean this is not stopped. It is not stopped. It is not changed. Everything is it's like you were saying, talking to your um, dad about the Watts riots. This is the same thing all over again. Nothing has changed. And you can only carry that space for so long until it explodes. And that's kind of where we're at now. And we don't have um, anyone who's helping us hold this together. Um, that's, as a, the hardest, that's the hardest part because... Yeah. Um, we don't have an, an administration or any leadership or anyone with conscience really at, at all. So it's like, it always is, uh, you're on your own. And, yeah. and I just pray for us as a people that we can support each other, work for change, really, really work for change. It has to be monumental and it has to be, uh, you know, systemic root core change. Yep. And, you know, I'm, I'm committed to doing that. And I, I hope that, um, you know, we get there. I want to have hope. It's, it's so hard. Yeah. Um, it's just hard to, I, I feel for so many really close friends of mine that are just in so much pain right now. And I don't know, I don't want to cry into my pot pie because it's sad. <laughs> Don't write your pot pie. But when I think about comfort food and how we can help people, um, you know, food is a food helps. And I, you know, I think like, well, why are we doing this, Debriana? And I just think again, we started it with the pandemic. 
And now it's okay, all this other shit's going down. So we just, you know, I think people come here for for something to to feed their family or themselves or their loved ones. Close. And that's what we do. Hold them close, hold them close, you know, and yeah. this is a thing that I go to um, other, you know, you have those handful of dishes where you're just like, they take so long, but they're so worth it. And you just feel like a, it's like a hug. So this is just a love dish. I'll make yeah, a love dish. dish. It's a love dish. <laughs> it's a love dish. So it takes so long, but I don't want you to get scared out there and Facebook live land uh, because it's so worth it. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's something you can do with your children or, or who, a friend or your, you know, partner or yourself. It's meditative. Yay. Um, and while you're doing it, and it's, it gives me joy to do it. And what spurned it originally was, you know, in the Trader Joe's that I'm like, I was just, I, I was just, you know, we're all in this walking zombie space right now of what's been going yeah. on. It's so it's so intense and um i saw these uh they sell these english petty pois peas i love the peas i bought them the other day too oh, they're so beautiful they're so good and eat fresh peas i just i can't eat frozen peas myself and even though i know they have a place in certain things but i don't like them i like fresh <laughs> i love them. fresh in the back of my mind i'm like yeah pot pie would be good pot pie would be good so, good. So I've already made um, <laughs> the crust. Mm -hmm. It is in the fridge. It has been chilling for five hours now. You want it to chill for minimum two hours. So mm -hmm. we're good to go. Um, okay. <laughs> but the thing about the savory crust is um, I did it with. Um, you know, I did it all butter. I didn't do shortening. I put some chopped thyme in it. Oh, that's um, nice. It be herbal. And I put some flaxseed in there for some extra vitamins. For some flaxseed. <laughs> I put flaxseed in everything. Um, I know. It, it's a toasty flavor. And so Love in it. the recipe, you'll see the, the pie crust recipe. But that's the yeah. crust. But what we have to do right now is make the... The love um, feeling insides. Now, normally I make a chicken pot pie. So, but I had live with vegetarians, so I'm making veggie. But you can easily substitute. I'm like I'm putting kale in this and mushrooms. You can put all of it. Just make the portion smaller if you want, want to add a cup or two of chicken, chopped roasted chicken or something, um, or. You know, you could do a version. I've done a version before uh, with beef. You know, you can make beef pies, you know, whatever. But this is going to be veggie. Um, so we have to make the gravy and all of the vegetables. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And they have, as you know, different cooking times. And that's really the secret to the pot pie. You don't want to overcook the vegetables. So I'm going to grab this pot over here. Just so you can see, I've already boiled the um potatoes oh, pretty yeah potatoes, carrots and celery okay so that's good to go 10 minutes and that's i believe look at this crazy i mean okay so <laughs> did, so, right. did you cut them into cubes all those little lovelies yeah. it's basically a cup of sliced carrots a half a cup of celery although i have a little bit more than that um, and I did one medium potato cubed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that you boil it, you strain it and you set it to the side. I have in it are mushrooms, peas and kale. So they all, you know, are tender and delicate peas being the most delicate. So I don't put the peas in until the very end when we finally incorporate the mushrooms I'm gonna saute in the gravy. I wanna cook them a little bit more so I can hide them from the kids. And um, and then, you know, the uh, kale, you know, kale's tough. Kale's, kale's tough little vegetables. 
So uh, tough. it's a tough thing. Got a thick skin, so you can I can put that in, you know, and then it'll be fine. I'll put that in uh, early on. So the last one I'm gonna do now. So we're going to make this gravy, which is um, let's see, it's gonna have butter, flour, cornstarch, salt, pepper, vegetable broth, half and half. And it needs to get really, really thick. So I'm going to put all incorporate all that together right now um, on this little. Look how I can do this. See, it's going to go Whoa. in here. Oh, hey, I'll, I'll chop it. I'll start <laughs> chopping and talking to you at the same time. So um, you're, you're going to have to get double pay now because you're acting as your own camera person. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But what does that mean with the union? I don't know. No, but, nothing. It means nothing. We're not. We're not union. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a medium. I got a sweet onion, like you suggested the other day. Yeah, they're so yummy. And gonna... I cut the bottom of mine off like that, and I, I, I didn't cut it so tight, and then I put it in water, and it started growing. It's growing outside. I'm gonna save this. I've I don't. Learned. Yeah, see if it works. Well, my celery totally worked, and my scallions worked. So. Yep. And I have um, also I did fennel when my fennel's working. Oh yeah! Right. So I'm excited. It's my and my leeks. That's the other thing I'm doing. Oh gosh, I need to do that with leeks. I love them. I love leeks. They're huge. My leeks are like this big now, out of the pot that they're in. They're so cool. And it's amazing, you know, you can grow all these things in a pot. It doesn't. Yeah, have all the leeks. All my leeks are in a pot. Yep. Yeah, it's so fun. It's it's really fun to see them sprouting, you know, in the water. They're just before you put them outside. It's so funny. It's like you have this life force. And yeah. Is going to stop them. Yes. Yeah, so I know you can do carrots from the top and regrow the greens, not the carrot, but you can make a pesto with the with the carrot top. So I'm gonna try that. Just please, if you do any greens. Look it up. We're not like, you know, yeah. total herbologist and I don't yeah. want anybody to croak. So no, no croaking. <laughs> I'm putting this in here. Okay. Okay. So that's the onion. I didn't cry just now. I think I'm all cried out, Debriana. Well, I think those sweet onions are not as strong. No, so, they're not. So what are you doing? You're just putting them in a pot right now? I'm putting them in the, uh, to saute them in a okay. frying pan. Okay, in a frying pan. Okay, great. We're going to go back to that. Um, I'm doing two cloves of mincing, two cloves of garlic. I'm doing a whole shallot, small shallot. The shallot. I like the delicate flavor of the shallot with it. Um, it's really nice. But you need you need the onion, though. Yeah. Great. Well, when you're doing an all vegetable um, piece like this, yeah. you, need, you need some stronger flavors because you don't have the chicken stock or the beef stock. Generally, yeah. when I would do a vegetarian pot pie like that, I would um, also soak shiitake, dried shiitake mushrooms and use that broth yes. off of the dried mushroom because that also has a, you know, a little bit more of a strong flavor. I would say... I'm doing vegetable sock because this is what I had, aka, mm -hmm. AKA Corona. Oh, yeah. But, um, I probably would do that to get a mushroom stock, which you can get. Oh, um, yeah. That, that um, better than Bouillon Organic Company that I use the paste, the chicken paste from, they also, they make a mushroom um, yeah. stock that's mushroom excellent. Mushroom stock is great. Yeah. The garlic it's super the good for you. Mushrooms are super good for you. They really are. And we need to worry about our immune system right now, majorly. All we can do. Okay. Beef them up before the flu season comes because we're already dealing with enough. <laughs> I know. Um, I wonder if I put in the shallot end. Would that work? It, it's possible. It, um, if you have enough of it, I think I couldn't get my last shallot, but I think I didn't cut enough of it off. But you can see, I, I they should work just the same as all the other onions. So, do you put them in water first, or do you? Yeah, yeah, I stick toothpicks in and then put them in a, a jar with water for a few days until I see 
um, some growth, like for the lettuce coming out of the top. But on the onions, you'll see um, little um, white roots start. Green, to yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is a great experiment we're doing right here. Oh my God, that whole big onion, I didn't think, I didn't shed a tear. Right now, tiny shallot, I'm like dying. <laughs> Whoa. There are small, big things come in small packages. <laughs> so powerful. Whoa. Oh my God. Yeah. So tomorrow we will be talking with our next special guest. Come, we're setting up a time with him to come on the show. So be looking for uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> And we also have it's our contest night. We have to we have to discuss our contest people tonight. Yes, the photo contest winner will be announced later, and the runners up. Yep, all coming out tonight. I mean, I have an idea of who I think it should be. I have an idea. <laughs> Yes. Some good photos. Definitely some good photos. Oh my god, there were some there were some beauties. Okay, let's see. All right. So now I'm gonna take some butter and I'm going to and I'm taking the, you know, carry gold. Um ah, yeah. Not the land of lakes. <laughs> fat, solid fat. Okay, we're putting this in. Yeah. Um, great butter though. Uh, Seamus said, great butter, though. He yeah, it is great butter, Shay. <laughs> he loves it. Well, because when we put it on popcorn, oh, my God. Yeah, best. That's uh, pretty good. So yeah. I will put this in a second. I'm just going to get it melting here. I think I have everything. Well, I've been talking about who said that. Things were changing. Then this idiot <laughs> was a freaking backlash to the black president. I don't know who said that. I'm going to see if I can find you on <laughs> Oh in the kitchen. <laughs> wow. But yes, it's true. Let's see if I can find you. I don't know if I can find the. Oh, here. Yes, I shall see. There's 10 comments. I'm not seeing them. Well, just tell the people again. We can't see who you are, so identify yourself so we know who you are. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> when, we're, when we're live, it's just one of these things. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, here, here's something. Is that is that it? Maybe. Yes, I think I found you. Now I have to find out. Oh, Milton. Hi, Milton. Hi, Milton. <laughs> All right. So we got the onion. We got okay. So we got the onion. Okay. Oh, I like to put a little bit of smoked paprika in there. I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, one. I do too. Sm I love smoked paprika. If you don't know. Um, smoke pack break. It has like a, a like a lemony, smoky flavor. It's really I love smoke pack break. Get some. Oh, no. Go get some. Sometimes it's hot. You can get a hot smoke pack break. Um, yeah. But it's so El Yummo. So you want these onions and scallions to get translucent. So they have to cook first. Okay. Everything else. I'm ready to go, but as soon as this starts to go, I'm gonna um, do the whole gravy situation. Yeah, um, I which, ready. <laughs> which requires a whisk. Yes. And you know what I was thinking about today? I would like to have, to add to my whisk collection, a copper whisk. Ooh. That's just in my wish list that I might ask, you know, Santa for. <laughs> Copper everything, Santa. Yeah, I, I think copper whisks are beautiful for one thing, yeah. but I'd like to have one. So I'm just making that general announcement since I know my husband is watching. <laughs> okay, I might as well chop. To, I'm just gonna chop everything until I switch the camera. So okay, from the garden, I just picked um, some sage, some thyme, some parsley, and some rosemary. So beautiful. Oh, I hear a song coming on. Okay. <laughs> Parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme. Oh my God! Somebody should I write a song. Yes. That's what I have. I didn't even. <laughs> it did not on me until so now. Weird. Who knew that song was a recipe for pot pie? <laughs> I didn't know that that's what I was going for, Paul Simon. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's funny. funny. 
That's like the first time I've laughed all day. Yay! Yay! So, um, <laughs> all right. So, you know, these fresh herbs, you just can't go wrong. And listen, they're everywhere right now. You just go buy a little mm -hmm. thing, plant them in a pot. You can have them right outside. No, no slapping the herbs. Just slap the mint. <laughs> yes, yeah, slap the mint around. Those were so good. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. they were fabulous. <laughs> well, and I have to say, go for making the simple syrup because you really want to. If you can get that honey incorporated, um, you know, because I love the like last few sips where it's the big globs of honey. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. <laughs> It's so yummy, but it's kind of like that whole drink is kind of like a oh, kill the germs. If you think about it, it's honey, <laughs> alcohol, mint. It's like all the like medicinal stuff. That is funny. Yes, smells good. Oh, Shannon says it smells good. Yay! Yes, yes. there's a thumbs up already. <laughs> thumbs up already. Okay, so. The amount of herbs to add, it's about a, a teaspoon of finely chopped of all these. Parsley sage. <laughs> See, there's a way to not forget. Okay. That's right. <laughs> so that that works. Okay. And then the time, you know, time this time, like we were saying the other day, it's just the spring, beautiful. Yeah, it, it doesn't um, have the woody stem, so you can just chop yeah. everything up. It's so oh, cool. That's such a wonderful flavor it that's why i just put it in the dough because i was like lavender what are you talking about peggy the song goes parsley sage rosemary and thyme there's no lavender <laughs> and there's no lemon squeezy either oh, we're just creating that. that out from the beginning <laughs> oh my god peggy you're so funny you're so cute okay all right here we go can we see what's happening here all right i have okay so, oh my God, the smell! Oh, of it's so good. Onion and hairy butter. This is like you know winter right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Great good. Oh, where we have Patricia Stroud is saying she's always wanted to learn how to make a pot pie. So. Okay, so Great. Patricia, it's so easy. It just you know you got to set aside a little time. But oh, I have a secret phone. I found you. I found out who everyone is. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm gonna put this back here. Oh my god, where I have no crew. No, I, have no crew. Crew. I need an assistant too. I'm just saying that. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah. Okay. I think that will work if I go like this. Okay. So now we're gonna do the gravy. All right, I'm looking at the crazy handwritten musings of the mad woman. Oh lordy, oh, who wrote that? Oh my God. <laughs> who wrote that recipe? <laughs> it was, I, I might forget something. I hope I don't. I don't okay. know how you can read that. That is so funny. <laughs> you know what I, need to do? I need to start like crossing off what I've done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I put that. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Add peas last. Okay. Who's so that? That? okay. Who wrote it? Add gravy. Okay. First is the gravy. So not listening to me. You've got. Um, I'm gonna turn it down to kind of a little simmer now. A little okay. simmer down. Okay. So it's um one and three quarters cup broth now we've discussed this if you want to do vegetables heard me, right who wrote that recipe I'm <laughs> <laughs> who wrote the recipe well, tell us it's me it's my recipe but i that i had but i just changed a few things and i'm not oh doing chicken you were, you were having a psychotic episode when you wrote it down <laughs> uh it's been a rough day okay <laughs> all right it's been okay. a few days. Um, not enough mojitos. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to put in this. Here's a cup of broth. And I'm going to add three quarters of a cup more. Okay. Yeah. It's not the 15 page long bread recipe. <laughs> oh, God. Dear God. <laughs> okay. If you saw my book of recipes, it would be a pair of cookbook. 
It's so messy. And see, that's going to be great when we finally have a cookbook because, like, the papers are falling apart. It's so old. It's terrible. Okay. All right. Now, there is some half and half in this and flour and cornstarch. Okay. So now we got to do... Um, can okay, I'm this? just going to make this the announcement. Lisa is measuring. Lisa is measuring. <laughs> I have to. I have to do the third cup for the flour. Uh, it's really important. I'm off. Don't get this one too much. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so there's flour. And then how much cornstarch? It's uh, two teaspoons. Okay. That's not very much. Okay, so you're gonna put the flour into the into the half and half and mix it all up first, yes? No, I wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do it? Never mind. I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> okay, you're gonna do it like that, like a roux. I got you. <laughs> I Okay. Don't let me confuse you and your the musings of a mad woman in the kitchen. Oh God, I love it when it's like you're not doing that, right? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So there's the flour. All right. So I'm just whisking away. It'd be so great if I had an assistant right now. Anybody? I know. Really? <laughs> Where is it? No, she is now um, stirring the, uh, whisking the uh, flour in, and then you're just cooking it a little so you get that flour. The flour is not raw, basically. I have zero lumps right now, by the way, just so yeah. you know. Okay, um, that's good. Right. So then I'm going to put, um, where's my measuring? Ah, okay, I'm going to put two teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, here come the teaspoons. She's got them, people. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized something that I didn't have in here that I'm going to put in. I'm so happy I didn't forget. Okay. What is it? Um, I'm gonna put a little sherry. Oh, I love putting sherry in pot pie. If you guys don't know that secret, it's awesome. It's just you know, this combo, it's like when you make beef organon or any kind of gravy-ish brew mm -hmm. type of deal. Um, you want to put a little bit of that kind of uh, marsala or sherry wine. It's mm -hmm. just such a fantastic flavor. Um, I so, think said I've made this before. That's why it was written down the way it was. <laughs> well, I was I was remembering some stuff too, and I, you know, it's veggie, so I just didn't mm -hmm. want to, you know, forget anything or. Um, mm -hmm. Make it be a, not a good deal. Okay, I'm gonna use the marsala. Okay. Gonna, I don't know how much I'm gonna put in. I'm I'm just gonna guess. Okay, um, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. And then <laughs> I don't know, probably like a tablespoon. Just a splash. And then we're gonna do um oh yes, the half and half. Okay, two thirds. This is a third. Actually, let's use the liquid one. <laughs> let's just, Yay! Let's do the liquid one. Let's see, Deborah, I'm cup of that. Two thirds. <laughs> and this, this, I always like to have the half and half in it. I think it really helps. Now, here's, oh, gosh, yeah. here's another thing. You could, oh, this is getting really nice, you guys. Nice and thick, and mm -hmm. yeah, the smell is divine. Okay, so. You could, at this point, if you wanted to, I don't think I'm going to, but you could make a cheese component to your veggie thing. Mm -hmm. Like you could do it if you had a really great sharp cheddar or something like that. Yeah, or a you gruyere would be great. Gravy sauce. Um, yep. I might do a little bit on the top, maybe, um, before I put on the top layer of crust. I haven't decided yet. Okay. Well, As I'm just going to stop measuring now, Peggy. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to throw in some salt. My bad influence. How much salt am I supposed to put in? Oh, a teaspoon salt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, salt. salt and pepper. Salt and yeah, pepper. pepper. And then some smoked paprika also. Pepper. This is looking so yummy. I may have to make one. 
<laughs> this is this is killer, man. And if yeah. you had your chicken from the other night, it would be mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah, that's all gone. <laughs> yeah, bye. Okay. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. All right. I think we got it. Okay. Awesome. So you you cook this down until it's thick because you don't want the runny gravy. No runny, no runny not middle good. filling. No. It's not a good time if it's runny. Um, because you know, you've got this high crust you're dealing with, and I'm not par baking it, I'm not cooking it ahead of time, and you want it to be thick, you want the vegetables to be not overcooked, but not, uh, but a little bit undercooked, I would say. And it only cooks for an, oh, I need to, aha, preheat the oven. Turn the oven on. 425. Um, oh, it's, this is getting, this is a beautiful, beautiful consistency right now. Uh, perfect, I would say. Okay. No, so, but I, I, we have not gotten these from the garden yet. Our gardens are not ready for vegetables. They are ready for herbs, but not veggies yet. But I learned something last night. I watched a video about companion planting for tomatoes. Yeah. And the five that are the best with tomatoes, if anybody's growing them out there, are parsley, basil, um, mint, yeah, kind of onion or scallion and marigolds, and each oh. one of those um, plants have a beneficial effect on bugs and nematodes and yeah, hornworms. The only thing is mint; you probably need to put that in a pot and not put it in the garden because it's very invasive. But, okay, um, so Holly would probably kill me right now because I'm going to get it wrong. But what? I know there's something in the roots of marigolds or marguerite daisies that's like strychnine or something. It's some oh. kind of like basis of pesticide, but yes. it's in synthetic, but it's in the plant. Yeah. So the, it, I don't know what I'm talking about, but it works. I don't know what it is either. I just know that nematodes, which are horrible if they get on your in your tomato plants, you can't get rid of them, I don't think. But they, they get attracted to the roots of the marigolds and they die in there. I'm also using a soap spray of some, you know, mm -hmm. natural dish yep. soap and water to yep. put on my roses for aphids and stuff yep. like that. And it just gets rid of them naturally and it's awesome. Okay. Yeah. We're going to put the kale and the mushrooms in. This is oh, looking is so exciting. I know. I, I wasn't going to do kale, but then I was like, you know, my cousin Tatiana and Peter brought me over their garden kale. Oh, how nice. You have to then. So I was like, I have to yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to, of course, as I do, de stem this because yeah. I know it's, this is thick. This is some. That's thick. like a dinosaur kale. This is some thick kale we're talking yeah. about. Um, so, but if you had Swiss chard, you could put that in there too. That you would know, work. But they did bring a Swiss chard and we ate it. <laughs> I put it on pizza. Yeah, I do. I, I have some in my yard right now. That, that actually is ready. Like the leafy stuff is ready. Yeah. Okay. So I have to clear the area here. Hang on everybody. Um, so what else is happening? <laughs> what else is happening? Well, I'm thinking of making something quite unusual this week. So um, you'll have to tune in and see what it is. Uh, it's a surprise. Do I know what it is? <laughs> yeah, I just told you before we went on the air. Look what I found. I have this Le Creuset pie. Oh, my gosh. That's gorgeous. It's so heavy. Oh, I, I know. Those are so I beautiful. Work out this. You know, I, I usually make mine in my cast iron pan and I just put it, end up just putting a top on it because that's the heaviest um, sort of pot pie-ish dish I have, but I'm coveting that now. <laughs> I love Le Creuset. I do I, too. I really, you know what, if we're talking about dreams, <laughs> kitchen dreams, <laughs> uh, I really want to get um, a Le Creuset Dutch oven. I want to get a... Oh, yes. Those are wonderful. My husband has a 
kind of a um, a Dutch oveny thing that he uh, it's made out of cast iron, but he only uses that mostly for his bread baking. Yes. So I don't really cook in it much, but do people know that David is a master bread baker. He is <laughs> master. He is. He loves it. And he makes kombucha. He is. He's a kombucha king. He loves kombucha. And we're using now that he waited until now because he usually makes it more in the summer. So he saves that scoby, that that weird, I don't know, mushroomy, gelatinous thing that grows on the top. Yeah. Um, but it's really good for your garden. So we have been putting it, burying it in the garden for bacteria. Wow. Good bacteria. Okay, things I didn't know. Number <laughs> 987. Okay, I'm taking... I'm taking <laughs> I'm despining these things. Um, just but so we're going to put those in your vegetable stock in the freezer. Uh oh, here goes the freezer stock. <laughs> okay, I was like, can I get away with it? No, now I have to. No, now you have to put it in the freezer. Along with those <laughs> onion skins, I saw you saving off to the side too. <laughs> You're training me. I used to, at the beginning of this show, of this enterprise, I used to just put it in the trash. And now, no. No, stone soup. It's your stone soup pile. <laughs> well, it just adds such great flavor. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. The freezer can do anything. It's magical. <laughs> it saves a lot. There was the, one of the first things I bought when I bought my house um, was getting a big freezer. And I, I've always used it, always used it, even when I was by myself in here. <laughs> and yes, I do have two refrigerators. Can you imagine what people did before they had a freezer? I mean, yeah. well, you know, they salted a lot of stuff and, um, you know, preserved that way, canned and, but nothing is, is as good as, you know, fro fresh frozen. So I've just rough chopped all this. Now I'm going to take the mushrooms that I've already chopped and I'm going to put them in the beautiful gravy. Um, okay. It is so pretty. It, it has a sort of salmon-y cast to it because of the smoked paprika. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It makes a pretty color. This is the great, this is the perfect consistency. I'm so pleased with it. Okay. Yay. That's cooking away the little mushrooms. Um, and then I'm gonna put the kale in now. I've never done this. I this is not a normal thing that I put kale in my pot pie, but I just thought it would be good. So it would. It hey, that's the thing about pot pie. I think it was actually a use for leftovers. So oh absolutely. It is. Yeah. So if you had a hand cup, a cup of chicken or whatever, but it stretches, you know, the little bits of everything that you have left over. I mean, what are some other things you could put in here? Okay, you could do obviously chicken, it. beef, mm -hmm. uh, pork, pork. I would put pork in it if I had it. Sausage, I don't care. You could make it super cheesy. Oh, you could definitely do a sausage pot pie. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do turnips. You could do other root vegetables. Fennel. I've actually had a fish one. Oh, really? I don't know if I've ever had. Yeah, white fish. Yep. Yeah. Well, what oh, thank you. I should take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. Well, cream and butter. You can't go wrong. No. Um, <laughs> cream butter flour. It's delicious. <laughs> cream butter flour. It's a winner. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, there's that. I'm still not going to put the peas in yet because, you know, I'm going to put the other vegetables in. Okay. The things I cooked before. Now, this is a lot of inside. So that's why when I give these, um, there's the carrots, celery, and cubed potatoes, which are the staples of this kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. I guess you could spike it with pot. Pot pie. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, but these. This is for children. So no, no, Milton. Um, you, you know, Milton, you can no. do that. <laughs> you can try it. You. How about you try it and tell us how it is? <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. 
Um, this is gonna be that looks fabulous. fabulous. I'm gonna eat it now. So see what I'm saying? Like this is not a runny, liquidy. You know you're going wrong if it's if it didn't come together. But if you're using the right amount of flour and cornstarch, it'll be fine. I'm gonna she measured it. Measure she measured it. it. Yeah, it's all about the measuring. <laughs> <laughs> um, so all the fresh herbs are going in. Um, <laughs> So what else do I have? I don't have anything else that I'm missing. I don't think. No, just the peas. The pretty peas. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt, just cause. Cause why not? Um. Oh my god. You okay. could put corn in it. Oh yeah, you could. Totally Roasted corn would be good in there. Okay, this is looking. This is looking good. I'm it looks good. really good to me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste it. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Good times. All right. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put this to the side. Okay. And now we roll out the dough. Okay. Okay, <laughs> camera, camera girl. <laughs> camera, camera. Is it working? Let's see. Yeah, no, I can see you. All right, I'm going to have to switch boards here to get the, you can see the crate. Or I'll flip it down. Yeah, here, I'm going to I'm gonna pull our names out because everybody knows us by now so I can see you. Okay. I'm putting everything in the mixer. <laughs> you, can't, you can't see me right now. But that's <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay. So get a work area. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a flower. You're gonna obviously flower the area. And oh, I can't wait to see your pack rest. <laughs> we're gonna roll out the dough again. I cannot forget the peas, Debriana. Do not I, let. I'm me gonna go. remember. I've got them on my list. Oh my god, you can eat these raw. I love yeah, them. The peas are really good raw. I'm growing oh. them. You are. Mm-hmm. Oh, yum. Okay. All right, so. These seeds are Chinese peas. They look beautiful. So. Oh, my God. They got them at Trader Joe's. No excuses. <laughs> so, what I have done before, in these hours before making the dough, I wrapped them in two discs. One, you know, half and half. One, I'm getting a rolling pin. There okay. you go. Hi. Oh, oh, hi there. <laughs> Going down. I don't have to. Now going up to the second floor. Okay. Um. So what I had to do because I don't have a large Cuisinart, I just have the Mini Pro. I cut the recipe in half. I made two batches. Uh huh. And then because I didn't want it to get all, you know, it wouldn't have fit. Yeah. Um, so here's the here's the first one. Um, and that's a whole other thing. We've talked about this. Yeah, we've done part The importance of the cold butter, the cold water. This has time and a little bit of, just a tiny bit of flax seed, and it has to be wrapped. But, oh, my gosh, it came out perfectly. Absolutely perfect. beautiful. So I was happy about that. And so I'm just, oh, the oven's ready. Yay. Yahoo, just in time. Out of a bird. <laughs> uh, so. I'm just gonna ease, and it's just perfectly easy to roll. That's what happens when you use the carry gold and it's all fat. That's right, we love it. And fat carries the flavor. This is super pretty. I should take a picture of this too. Um, the thing about it is, is that you want it to be obviously a circle because you're gonna fit it in the pie thing. Um, if you see, little striations of fat or butter that's okay because that's where it's going to get bubbly and and crispy it's just so flaky that's the flaky pie yeah, the flaky zone so yeah this is going to be really good I'm, I'm excited for dinner <laughs> <laughs> so i don't think we said how long are you going to cook it and at what temperature preheated oven at 425 and I'm gonna cook it for between, I mean, it's probably gonna be 35 minutes. So I'm gonna test it mm -hmm. at 30, I'll check it out. And then, um, 
you know, it really depends on your oven and, you know, what kind of, you know, high pan you have. and mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, depth of it. Because mm -hmm. if you wanted to, you could make, like, four tiny pot pies and, like, freeze two of them. Or, mm -hmm. you know, and this is totally freezeable, too. Uh-oh. No freezer. Um, <laughs> um, so, but you know what I mean? Like, you could seriously... Yeah, absolutely. Two. If you're going to take the time, make two big ones and then freeze one. And then you yep. can pop it in whenever you want. So we're almost there. Workout. Yeah, nice. Kitchen workout. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's nice and cold. And see, when it's cold like this after a few hours, you just get great dough. You can do anything with it. It doesn't fall apart. Okay, so I'm going to put this. Now, the other story is if you don't want to make it, you know, you can get already made pie crust. Um, that's Look that's at that. All together. So beautiful. Easy. If you didn't want to do that part, you could just get already made pie crust that you can roll out and fit into a pan. I mean, you can. You can. I'm just saying. It's not for those of you who are afraid to make a pastry. <laughs> don't be afraid. Just watch Ollie Ludwig's yeah. in the kitchen episode. It's so easy. It's so easy. Anybody can do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I'm missing a couple spots. <laughs> You're what? So I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna do a little surgery. Okay. Oh, gonna, perfect. Yes, this is the, this part is called the pie crust surgery. Take off the excess, and if you didn't do it perfectly, take off the excess somewhere and just put it in the place where just you... Just move it around. Yeah, it's it glue. It's like glue. It's so much fat in here. Um, not a problem. And you want this to go over the edge because you're wa going to want it to seal on the mm -hmm. top because you've got juices and all the things, and you don't want it to... Make your oven a disaster area. <laughs> Basically, yes. This is this is the uh, the pie crust recipe. Yes, this is the same. Oh, one. Yeah. I do. She cheese. added stuff to it. Yeah, I did the same. I added um, flax and um, chopped thyme and had salt, sea salt. But this is the savory one. But if I was going to make, um, you know, a sweet one, it would have a little bit of sugar. It would not mm -hmm. have savory elements as it does. Okay, so this is looking really good. Gorgeous. Set that to the side and get the top half. And here we go. My assistant prepared this. Oh, voila. Your assistant pulled that right out of the freezer for you. Or the <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm going to add the peas right now. Yay, I'm everybody. She remembered the peas. Oh my god, I have to eat one more because they're so good. Mm. I know, okay. they're looking like fresh peas. Maybe like two months. Okay. The peas are going to go in. Okay, done. Yeah. Woo! I didn't forget them. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, I you have me and, I don't know, eight people watching. We would have reminded you. <laughs> Thank you so much, eight people are watching. I don't know, I didn't count, but there are a lot. <laughs> I think I'm going to, oh my God, this is just like, I could eat this right now without the yeah, without the crust. Yes, I agree. I one more like round of pepper. And if you wanted to get really crazy, you could add chili powder. And I have done that. This I, I know. I would actually add green chili to that myself. Well, and you know what else I do sometimes is nutmeg, a tiny bit of nutmeg oh, yeah. yep, in, yep. The, in the roux, you know, it really, um, make, it's just that classic French roux, but bechamel sauce, but we're not doing that right now, so, no. but you can, you can just, you can mix it up with your favorite flavors. Once you get this base down, it's so easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, once you have the the creamy, saucy thing down, then adding, you know, things to your heart's content is easy. And that's the fun Get part. creative, because this whole thing is about containing leftovers. So 
I mean, that's really, I think, what the pot pie is. I mean, it's like when you were making the, um, what's the Korean, uh, bibimbap, you know? Yeah, bibimbap. Yep, that's bim another way of using leftovers. Just experiment, experiment. You come up with that totally amazing thing that becomes a staple in your household. Mm hmm yeah, it is kind of a veggie stew. This is sort of a veggie stew. Yeah. But, but with cream and butter. <laughs> and onions and garlic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yum. <laughs> and so this is going to go over the top. It's going to be a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to maybe put a design on it. I don't know. <gasps> it's going to be beautiful. But I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. Oh God, and I can't forget the egg wash, Debriana. Okay. Okay. Egg wash. Oh my God. You see what I'm saying? It's work, but I'm telling you, you won't regret it. This is so good. Yeah. This it. is home, home comfort, peasant food. It's, it's delicious. It'll make you feel better. I mm -hmm. promise. And just the whole ritual of making it makes you, you know, you can space out and chop vegetables and stir things it's good call, call a friend listen to music it's a good meditative thing put on a podcast yes dough yeah. is always meditative isn't it it is for sure okay let's see is that it? it's probably good maybe a little bit more over here my circles are off <laughs> I think all of our circles are off right now. <laughs> I'm just off in general. It's, I'm so off. I feel so off. It's hard to just concentrate. It's hard not to just, you know, have things really affect you. And <gasps> am I going to put cheese? Hmm. Mm, cheese. Yes, cheese, please. Did you do some cheese? I would do cheese. Okay, I've got some cheddar cheese already grated and a little That'd bit. That'd be nice. Off. Should I do that? Yeah, why not? Okay, what do you think? You know, that's the other thing. You could make a cheese crust. So if we're talking about reinventing things, you could do that too. Mm -hmm. I could have added cheese to the crust. I thought about that and then I'm like, hmm, I think I'm gonna put a little cheese on top. Okay, so now I'm gonna that fill it with the, you know, filling we just made. The filling. I think I have to turn this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, the cameraman. <laughs> I know my cameraman is really underpaid and overworked. Okay, um, here we go. Oh my god, this is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I see your gaffer didn't put anything in the window today. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I didn't think it was so bright out. I know. Can you see it, it wasn't bright, but now it is. Can you see what I'm doing? I can. We can it looks like a white, a beautiful white halo. <laughs> oh my god, this is just wow, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. This is really great. Um Good. so all right. I'm going to scrape that with a spatula. I'm gonna take a picture so in case you know you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it looks like a white halo over there. <laughs> it's like what? The gas fired. Behind the scenes while we're doing it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so if I go over here, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, spatula. And I'm going to whisk, uh, baby whisk, a little egg wash. Okay. Okay. And cheese. And how are you going to make the egg wash? I'm just going to do a whole egg. Oh, check this out. So Tatiana, my beautiful cousin, and Peter. Oh, they some, um, eggs from their neighbor. Look at from their who have chicken. Oh, I love fresh chicken Look. eggs. They're all the colors. It's so oh pretty. My God. They are yeah, gorgeous. They're so pretty. They're mm -hmm. so pretty. I don't even want to crack them. But I did make another omelet. I I make a lot of omelets. <laughs> and, um, the truth has come home to roost, shall we say? <laughs> so you know, um, oh my God, the inside of this egg! I just want it on the walls with paint, like the egg. So pretty, yeah, yeah, they're really pretty. Beautiful. Well, that's what egg tempera is, right? They use egg 
eggs in it, I think. Any artists out there? Isn't it made with egg? <laughs> I think it is. Thank um, you. <laughs> they're like, yeah, you know that. Okay, so here's Baby Whisk. Hi. Oh, Baby Whisk. I'm going to just, you know, get this going. And I, you know what's really weird is um, I was making an omelet the other night and I had like two eggs left over from the store-bought eggs and then I had these beautiful uh, chicken, homegrown chicken eggs. And I, the yolks, I said to the kids, look at the difference in yeah. these eggs. Yep. The size, the consistency, the color. Color, yep. And the ones that were from someone's farm, I mean, oh my God, it was a whole different egg. Whole different egg. Yeah. Yeah, it's very different. It's crazy. Oh, it's the yolks. Thanks, Stratty. <laughs> no, thanks for that. Okay. We, we needed an art, an art lesson in the middle of our pot pie. <laughs> so we don't want to miss out on any of this goodness. I'm going to spread it around. Can you, can you bring that over here? <laughs> you want to eat it? You want no, I, no, no. I mean over to the camera. Oh, so it 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 just looks like it. a white halo. <laughs> I'm getting, I know. I'm so sorry. I didn't even think about the light. Um, I didn't either. It wasn't needed when we first started, but now no, it is. It was overcast, and I'm like, you know, do I need it? And then no. So, okay. So, I've gotten literally scraped this clean here, um, which is what you want to do. Well, duck eggs are a whole other thing. They, that's a whole different flavor. Here's the... Oh, I like them. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Oh, Can nice. You? Okay. Thank you. And it smells so good. Mm. Interesting, because I don't normally do a veggie one. Like I said, I normally do um, a chicken pot pie. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm getting the cheese right here. And they've already grated. And, and are you just going to sprinkle it on the top? I'm just going to sprinkle it on the top. Mm. And I'm going to. That's cheddar, and then I'm going to do a little bit of Parmesan, I think, also. Mm. I don't know why. Um, you don't have to know why. <laughs> <laughs> but like you said, like a like a cheddar biscuit. You know, you, chive is the other thing I have not put on this, and it mm. could be chive, but I have a lot of herbs going, so I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't need it. Well, and you have onion in there, so it's good. Yeah. But you could do cheddar chive. Yeah, you could do cheddar yeah. chive. Yeah, yeah, you could put that in the crust too. Yum. So here we go. It's going to go on the top. Yay. Look at that. You just picked it right up. Yeah, it's this dough. I've so got beautiful. I've got yeah. a great recipe for dough. Um, so this is good. All right. So now, sealing the baby. <laughs> you want to seal it up. You want to seal the deal. Okay. Feel the baby. <laughs> so what I should have done, <laughs> and I did not do, is I, I, you should do a little bit of the egg wash here on the, on the yeah, edge to seal to help, it to help seal the deal. <laughs> but you can go back and get it. Some things you can go back on, and some things you can't. And we got lucky this time. <laughs> I got lucky this time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, right. Oh my God, that's so true of life, isn't it? Count, count your lucky peas. <laughs> count your lucky peas. It all worked out. So, yeah. And you want to seal it, and you have to make vents on this because it's yep. going to steam, and you don't want to have an explosion. An explosion, no. <laughs> Never. Fun. So I'm going to stretch it over and I'm just going to really make a crust that goes over the edge and, you know, yep. <laughs> not what you do. I don't do this when I like do my lattice with the pie. Um, I don't have it like seal like this. So to me, this is different. Yeah. So, so you have to use your fingers and, and scrunch yeah. them together just all the way around. And I had some excess, so what I'm gonna do with that is make a little design. Oh, how pretty. So I've got it going here. I'm gonna make sure it's tight and the egg wash is doing its job. Do your job, egg wash. 
You had one job, egg wash. Get to Do work. It. <laughs> Do it right. Okay. So that is good. Okay. Just gonna dust off a little bit of this flour. Edgar's like, yay, I get to eat it. <laughs> um and I have a little bit of dough, so I think I'm gonna make a heart right now. A heart, a little form, or I do have a cookie cutter. Maybe oh, I'll do cool. that. It'll be more professional that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we need that. <laughs> um, because it's not usually my MO. <laughs> um, but it could be really cute. Okay, so let's try this. I, I got it. I haven't taken out these cookie cutters in a while. <laughs> But I just saw them. Where are you? Oh, God. Okay, I have a butterfly. Oh, my God. Kind of. Is it buried? Explosion. <laughs> okay, I have a Christmas tree. Which I have Corona a kitchen sign are you looking at? Mom, Mom right here or the one that's in the corner? Oh, my God. Oh, wait. <laughs> a gingerbread man. That's not going to work. Okay. No. Um, Wrong reason. Tree. <laughs> You know what, folks? Oh, oh my gosh. I found it. You found the heart? Oh, sweet. And I have a butterfly. Oh, that's nice. A butterfly is a perfect apropos for this season. Butterflies are out. But I only have enough dough for the heart. The butterfly's too big. Okay, never mind. Pretend we didn't see the butterfly so no one's upset. Pretend you didn't see Are you going to egg wash it on there? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it takes a village, people. <laughs> you did remind me, Debriana. I don't know what I would do. Ah, okay. Fine. This is my um chalkboard. I painted this uh closet with chalkboard so I yeah. can um write on it and things I need to remember, like when to change the kitchen filter. <laughs> you know, it's hard. I I feel very um What's the word? Absent-minded, you know? Sometimes. Yeah. Well, I, some of it for me is lack of sleep. I just, I haven't been Total sleeping. Lack of sleep. Yeah. So oh, my brain. 100%. <laughs> okay, I think I have enough for two hearts. Oh, nice. Two hearts beat as one. <laughs> one for me and one for you. Yes. <laughs> Corona Kitchen hearts right here. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Rush on. There it is. Oh, okay. That's really cute. Okay. Now I have to, um, I'm going to make the slits. So I'm going to just do, you know, very simple. Symmetrical. <laughs> Which you don't have to do but I am doing it that way. Beautiful. Looks pretty. It's so great. Okay, now all I have to do is cover this with egg wash and put it in the oven and then we're eating, thank God. Okay. Oh, yay. So this part takes the longest and then you cook it for about 35 minutes or something like that, right? The cooking part is so much easy. easier than a regular fruit pie. And you do want to let it um, sit for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, I would say, because it's going to be hot child in the city. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be really hot. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is the reason why you use like a heavy, like I use my cast iron or you use that Le Creuset is because you want the crust on the bottom to, to heat up. And yeah. And that's what those heavier pans will do. So it cooks that bottom crust. You definitely don't want a soggy crust. That would really bum you out. That's not fun. No. But that crust will be so tasty, I'd probably eat it anyway. You know, sometimes when you have a frozen pot pie from the store, that's the best part. <laughs> Didn't we grow up eating those? Remember Swanson's? I, I ate them all the Chicken time. Chicken pot pies? Always. I didn't like them. <laughs> oh my god, I loved them. No, I was not like I like homemade ones, but I never liked. I didn't like anything frozen, frankly. Except the only time I ate it was when I would escape my house and I go to my friend Lisa's house, and she, her mother, never cooked anything. And the only thing I grew up not liking was 
tuna noodle casserole, which was very popular at that time. Yeah. I don't like hot canned tuna. So I would always go over to my friend Lisa's for dinner and we would have TV dinners or pot pies. Don't you remember hungry man dinners? How sexist is that? <laughs> God. Yes, I do. In your face again. Oh. I didn't, I didn't like them anyway. <laughs> but it was better than the tuna noodle casserole, I'll tell you that. Oh my God, okay. You will not catch me making tuna noodle casserole in Corona Kitchen. I know. I will well, bring it over here so you can see it. So, bring it over. All right. It's heavy. <laughs> well, that pot is heavy. Pan, that pie pan is heavy for sure. I'm going to put a little sprig of thyme on the top. It'll get charred, but it'll be cute. Here it is. Oh, you can almost see it. It's so bright. What but if I turn this light? I can't wait for you to, to put what? it in the oven then. <laughs> oh my God, this is so homegrown today. This is so like gorilla. Yeah. Thing. Oh, yes. It's a beauty, yeah. folks. It's oh, a beauty. Going in. Here we go. Going in. Going in. Watch out, Edgar. Oh, God. That's really beautiful. I'm proud of you. Yay, I'm proud of you. Yay. <laughs> and she measured. <laughs> See, I measured. I'm putting the timer on. 35 minutes. There it is, folks. 425. Yay. So it cooks high, but you should check it because, you know, like with pies, when it, if it gets to the perfect brown fast, you don't want it to char, so you put some foil over it if you need to. Mm -hmm. um, but this is going to be good. It's going to be super good. I can't wait to see it. Good. Yeah. Thanks for being on this journey. I'm going to taste a little bit. Oh, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Throw away the raw dough because that's going to give me a stomach ache. Yeah, don't do that. It's cook it. Cook it. <laughs> Thank you for taking us through pot pie. You're welcome. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> Have a great evening, everybody. Love yeah, you. Too. Bye. We will announce the winners tomorrow or tonight. Tonight, tonight. right? Tonight, tonight. Tonight. On, tonight on, the, on, the, on the edge of your seat. Manja. <laughs> Bye.